You gonna be a good boy today? I don't trust you. You just look like you're gonna bite me. Let's get the loop ready. Come on, sir. See, I knew it. I knew it because you were turd. Teddy's a turd. He acts like that. Get your butt in this loop. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before thank you for returning if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you are notified every single time I drop a video and you don't miss not one video everybody in here smash that like button share this video and drop a comment down below during the video after the video before the video whatever you feel let me know what you think let me know what you like about the video let me know what you want to see next you saw by the title and the thumbnail we got a good one so let's get straight into this room also you guys make sure you're continuing to watch the ads I know some of them can be a little lengthy but watch them as much as you can for as long as you can it truly does help support the channel and support me it helps me to do this on a more full-time basis and it really does keep me out in the algorithm as I've been and keeps the channel growing I really appreciate it and love you guys let's get back into the groom okay everybody so this is teddy and teddy has been to the salon this is the second time now prior to teddy coming to our salon they have been home grooming him because they could not find anybody to actually groom him because he has been extremely aggressive in the past and even on his first visit when i first started doing him he was really bad like he lunged he snapped really quickly and i think the only thing that really straightened him up is he's actually scared himself so i was doing what i'm doing now i was holding his chin and scooping out his eyes and he was snapping and going after the clippers and he would like lunge and then back up but the one particular time where he lunged and backed up he flipped himself in the air from trying to lunge at me and that scared him and ever since then he has been semi okay i won't even say he's perfect because he still has his moments which you'll see in this video he still has moments where he tries it but he is not nearly as bad as he was his very first time here and <laughs> i told his mom when she picked him up this day i said i call him my little angry boy because he just looks so pissed off all the time <laughs> like he just looks like he's sick of everybody and he's ready to go home and get in his bed <laughs> But Teddy is that type of dog where I have to be stern with him the whole room. Like, I can't give him an inch because he'll take the whole world. Like, he is just that dog where you can't even, like, lighten up an ounce to just kind of show him any type of affection because he'll take that as a sign of weakness. And a lot of dogs actually are like this. More dogs that I've seen are like this because do dogs again operate on a dominance effect so he is the type of dog where he needs to be more dominant than his groomer and he has been every single time in the past and since he's come to me i think he's realized okay not everybody i can just walk all over even his mom when i first did him she almost cried because she was so thankful that i could actually get a haircut on him because for the longest they could not take him anywhere where he could actually get a haircut and i felt bad because it's hard when you have a dog that is difficult and you know your dog is difficult and you try and do it at home and then they really tried to do him at home but they could only get his body done they could not get his legs done so he came in and his body was scissored short but his legs were all hacked at almost like they tried to cut the mats out and he wouldn't let him do it and the mom said that you know her husband would do it but she said she she said she was tired of her husband making him look ugly <laughs> and i swear that's what she said verbatim and we all cracked up in the salon but she was so appreciative and that's the type of stuff that i really appreciate about grooming dogs when you can get a dog done that not a lot of people can because they struggle with the dog because the dog can be aggressive and he can bite but he just he needed his own come to jesus moment 
like he needed to do it himself and in his mind make himself think that I did it because I literally didn't do anything I'm like you did that all on your own but good I'm glad you worked it out glad you figured it out now let's get this haircut done and ever since then I've been able to get things done now when I first started doing him before he had that moment it was it was a struggle to get it done because he was snarling and snapping and I can definitely 100% okay. see why other groomers would turn him away and not be able to get him done because he was no, so bad no, no. and it was just it was it was awesome to see his change and how far he's come now you'll see when I'm grooming him well when actually when I'm drying him you'll see he takes his little front paws and wraps them around my arm and if you don't know if you guys don't know that is actually what dogs do right before they bite you and sometimes it's right before they aggressively bite you so you have to get them to snap out of that mode or you can get really injured or the dog can get really injured and that's a lot of the times why people turn away certain dogs because they don't want to be in that situation where they get really injured and they end their career or the dog gets really injured and the pet parent assumes that the groomer did something drastic to their dog when in reality the dog tried to hurt them and ended up hurting themselves that is honestly a lot of the times what actually happens and it's it's so hard to control because you're dealing with an animal that doesn't understand most of the time what you're saying so you have to be strategic with what you say to them to make them click out of the mindset that they're in but and sometimes it's really difficult it's really difficult so for Teddy in this video, you're going to see a lot of me correcting him and some of the things you guys probably can't see because it's little subtle things that he does. But for sure for the drying, you can 100% see what he's doing. But a lot of the times when I'm holding his chin hair to scissor or to do anything, a lot of the subtle things that you can lightly correct with other dogs I have to sternly correct with him because like I said he's one of those dogs that you cannot give an inch to or he will take over the whole room he has to understand that you are dominant at all times and just to begin honest here as much as I love grooming Shih Tzus out of all the dog breeds that I've ever groomed Shih Tzus are the most like that like they can be the most aggressive aggressive to groom and I don't know whether maybe because of their face they have a smushed nose and maybe that's why they are aggressive the way they are but throughout my seven years of grooming a lot of the hardest grooms that I've ever had to do was with a Shih Tzu so I don't know what it is about Shih Tzus like I said I think it could be the fact that they have a, a smushed face but it could be other things as well I have no idea but for Teddy today we are going to be shaving him down and giving him a nice round teddy bear face originally I was going to leave him longer legs but because I know the owner can't really mess with his legs at home and brush them there was no way for me to give him longer legs and his legs not be mad at the next time so I had to shave him down in one length all over for his groom but I left him a really 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 cute face one thing I do want to speak on before we get too deep into the video or too deep into his groom so when I was taking him out his cage at the beginning of the video for dogs that are severely aggressive like how he can be you loop the dog and then you pull them closer and you kind of slowly reach your arm around to pick them up and that's what I was trying to do because like I said y'all saw me try and just go in there and pick him up or just go in there to put the loop on originally and he lunged so for dogs like that you have to be strategic getting them out the cage sometimes you can go from the top and that was a cage where you could go from the top but he is not the type of dog where you can go from the top he has to see what you're doing if not he'll back himself into a corner and get really aggressive and I didn't want to do that to him right at the beginning of the groom because if I did that nine times out of ten I wouldn't be able to get anything done to him and I would have had to send him home so I opted for the strategic route just to loop him, pull him to the front, and slowly go around his body and take him out. Give it. 
Teddy. I said no. Forgive me if I don't really trust you. Nah, ah. You better loosen up that tension in your body. because I know you hate that. I'm just grinding them. I'm going to have to clip that dew claw though. When are you going to wash that one? Because I'm about to wash this one. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing on Teddy today bath-wise, we have a tearless puppy shampoo. It's a tearless facial and body wash for puppies. I'm going to be using that on Teddy just because he has a little bit of allergy, so I didn't want to use anything too harsh. But I'm also going to be washing his face twice because the crusties around his eyes get really, really heavy and really, really bad. So I scrub his face twice just to kind of make sure around his eyes are super clean. And even though I pre-scooped his eyes, if I don't scrub his eyes or his face properly, all that dirt will just sit there. So somebody made a comment the other day, somebody who actually always watches my videos, and I actually appreciated this comment because the comment basically was, it's basically don't use so much soap on the dog's face. It's going in their nose, it's going in their mouth, it's going in their eyes, and they understand that it's a tearless shampoo, but so much soap on the face cannot be good. So I'm going to say this again and just also give a little science lesson. So when you're washing a dog's face or washing a dog's body just in general, the point of washing is to lather the dog up really, really well. Now, the reason why I scrub so long is because there is a texture to the coat that you feel once the body is starting to get clean. You can no longer feel that the coat is rough the coat becomes soft so no matter where you're scrubbing on the body you have to feel that softness come to the coat that's how you know the soap is penetrating through the dirt and getting the dogs clean if I just wiped it down like all the other groomers that y'all keep saying y'all see do my dog's faces would not be clean and my dogs will leave going home with gunk around their eyes stuff around their chin and the heaviest buildup area is right behind their ears so chin right in their little corner lips because that's where their canines hang around the eyes and right behind the ears those are where the heaviest gunk buildup happens on dogs so i scrub as much as i can for as long as i can until i feel that the soap is starting to break through that dirt because if i don't owners are going to complain that the dog is not clean properly and to be honest i would complain if a groomer gave my dog back and it still had crusties around the eyes so for him you're gonna watch me wash his face twice because the tear stains around his eyes get built up so bad and he has allergies 
but his coat is fine his his skin is fine but his ears and just the gunk around his eyes build up really bad his ears are terrible absolutely terrible they've taken him to the vet the vet can't figure out his ears but everything else looks fine on him it's the craziest thing i've ever seen but it's all allergies and it's all yeast because his ears have a really yeasty gross smell to them but the quick science lesson so when you have soap and I put a little bit of soap in my hand I can rub it all over his face for as long as I want it's not gonna suds up until I add the water so it's the same thing when you guys wash your own hair you put a little soap in your dry scalp dry hair it's not gonna suds up until you add water the water activates the soap so no matter how little soap you have now I wouldn't say put a pin drop on there but no matter how little soap you have the longer you scrub the more suds you're gonna get but if you watch as I'm washing his body, I think this is the second face wash, so I'm not going to wash his body. But you, if you watch as I'm washing his body, the suds go down because suds are like bubbles and bubbles are just basically air pockets. So over time, they just pop. Now, when you see the suds build up you may think like okay that's a lot of soap that's you know the face is clean already but suds don't actually mean the face is getting clean that is just what happens when you mix soap with water it creates little suds it creates little bubbles the action of getting the dog's face clean is actually scrubbing it and feeling when it's actually clean so that's why I scrub so long because I wait for the feel of when the dog's face is clean so you may see a lot of suds you may not see a lot of suds it just really all depends on when that feel is when I feel it and how dirty the dog's face actually is but if dogs have really bad tear stains, I'm going to really scrub their face because that is how you break through those tear stains and actually get their face really clean.
so right here is when teddy started to really act up and show out now again it could be because the dryer was in his face dogs don't like the dryer in his face but because his tear stains get so bad i have to make sure that that area is completely dry some of you may understand it some of you may not that's okay but for his standpoint i have to make sure that around his eyes are really dry now right here what you're seeing he tried to lunge at me and he also has his front legs wrapped around my arm i held him right there in my face because this is what you wanted you wanted to get up in my face now what are you going to do you're not going to do anything just like i know you wouldn't so calm down and unwrap my arm <laughs> As you can see, he settled down. I wasn't pulling at him. I wasn't holding him tight. Nothing. That was him in my face. I'm. You want to be in my face? Okay. Let's now. Now what? You here for what? Now. Now what's going to happen? Nothing. Now, like I said, Teddy is a dog where you have to lay down the law. So after we were done, I had to tell him, you don't put your teeth on me anymore. We're done with that. No more teeth. We are over that. You will not bite me. You will not get injured. You go home safely and you go home cute and that's it. <laughs> so now hopping to his haircut, I am going to be doing a five blade on his body. Like I said, I thought about doing longer legs on him, but I knew they would just come back mad at because they can't get to his legs at home. So I had to do a five blade all over as opposed to longer legs. Now, when I actually get to his legs, I have to hang him up in a sling because that is actually what he's really he for bad for. Yet? That's what he's the worst for, his legs. So I have to put him in a sling and shave his legs down and then I put him back down to finish everything else. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe. Really? but good to you. No, stand up.
Okay, so on Teddy's face, I'm going to be doing a half an inch. So that is a one guard comb so that his head is proportioned to his body. You don't really want to do the face too long or it's not going to look right. They're going to look like they have this big old bobble head. And also, he does better when everything is kept tight because his ears are so bad. As you can see in the video, he has a high buildup of yeast in his ears. And they have tried everything from what they are telling me. So I'm going to recommend that they do maybe like a home cooked diet I'm sorry, I'm or sorry, a pre-made yeah, raw yeah, food like yeah. primal which is a really good food if you guys can't make your own raw food if it's too expensive you can do primal primal has pre-made raw food or you can do we feed raw they'll ship it straight to your house but teddy does better when he has a shorter face because they wait a while to bring him in because he is not a fan of grooming i mean like I said, this is my little grumpy man, my little angry boy, because he doesn't like things done to him. And he just, you know, the grumpy cat, Teddy would be the grumpy dog because <laughs> he just doesn't like it. He really doesn't like it. And he just looks like he's plotting on everybody when he's sitting there watching you groom him. I do have a question for you guys so I can make recommendations for her for when she comes back in. If you guys or if anybody has suffered from a dog with ears like Teddy because of nope. yeast and y'all have gotten a way to kind of clear it up, let me know in the comments what you did and I can make no. those recommendations to her. I'm going to tell her apple Boy, cider vinegar anybody. because I know that helps with ear issues. No. Now in terms of clearing up the swelling in his Stop. ears, that I'm not really sure of. I'm trying to hold your foot. You ain't got to like it, but you got to get it done. And I'm not sorry because you tried to bite me. You're okay. Teddy, I wouldn't have to do this to you if you weren't a turd. But you try and bite. And I think that's just me. I don't know who hurt you, but I never had. Buddy, this is not your favorite thing. But listen, we're getting it done, ain't we? Reluctantly on your part, but it's okay. You're okay. Okay. It's okay. You're okay.
not for like two weeks, I don't think. Uh, they always do. Okay, so now that I'm done clippering his body and dematting his tail, I'm just going to go through his body and scissor up his legs and around his feet with my straight shears. Now I've been grooming for about seven years and I'm a pretty confident groomer, but anytime I'm scissoring around the feet, I still always get so nervous because any wrong snip in the wrong area and you yeah, can you cut the paw that. pad. So I am always very, very cautious when I'm scissoring their feet. Stop it. Stop. Come on. You don't need it anyway, so let me have it. I'm gonna do nothing but go slipping around the house with it. No, because I don't know how he's going to be for his face. No, she just got her. I think the breeder. Yeah. And shaved her little face. I love Boober. But he's living a better life in the Cayman Islands. 
Right? <laughs> Good for Boober. Huh? Yes, I would love to go. Nope. <laughs> no, I, I grew me for free. Don't move your foot. You're gonna get your paw pad cut. Then you're really gonna be mad. No. Well, no. Um, up north, when I worked at the Pet Smart, a guy from the Sixers used to bring his bulldog in and get him shaved in a tin. From the Sixers, the 76ers? Yeah, he used to get his bulldog shaved in a tin. His English, bull his English bulldog shaved in a tin. Because why are you shaving your bulldog that's already bald in the tin? <laughs> really? <laughs> Almost got your little hawk, buddy. You had been real mad. Woo. Grumpy dog. Angry Shih Tzu. His title will be World's Angriest Shih Tzu. <laughs> He's just angry. That's it. He probably lives the best life. He gets really good food. Because his skin and everything is great. His nails are not brittle. He's got a healthy coat. No, he's just angry. <laughs> and I'm just an angry dog, huh? Right. You can tell he's in his mind, he's plotting on who he's going to take out for, <laughs> for pissing him off. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa, you're next. <laughs> yep. Right. He's really plotting me. Okay, so now I'm going to go through with my thin and shares and clean up the rest of his face. And the reason I chose my thin and shares and not my straights is because I like for dogs to have a more natural look on their face. So the face still looks groomed, but it's a natural round face. And the thinning shears creates more of a natural look as opposed to a blunt look with straight shears. somebody that could get you groomed be pissed off a little angry shit too <laughs> it's okay teddy all dogs have to get groomed buddy right you gonna go home and sit in the corner after you done biting everybody uh they tried to get him done before and yes he has Bitten at them pretty decently. Yeah, the first time he came in, he was all hacked up. They took the kitchen scissors to him. <laughs> hey, but then you met your match named Brittany. Yeah, you did. Miss Brittany, don't play that. Yeah, I'm nice. You just have to behave. And then when you're not nice, I gotta get stern with you. Use that mom voice. You don't like that mom voice. 
Huh? A lot of people wouldn't have an animal in their house that would bite them. But see, Teddy's a special little case. Right, Teddy? Yeah. Yeah. He had to have one last time. He scared himself. I didn't even have to do nothing last time. He scared himself. Mm -hmm. I was holding his chin and he tried to bite me. And he tried to yank his face away and bite me. But when he yanked his face away, his whole body went up in the air. Scared the crap out of him. I said, listen, if you have a come to Jesus a moment on your own, hey, by all means, don't do that. going to do is have you bad on the table so you're a dangerous dog we're not doing that you are you are cut risk we're not going to do that they need to uh, change your diet that's why you got those ear things your skin's decent but your ears are terrible hey don't don't even think about it we just had this conversation i don't play that i'm gonna comb it suck it up Thank you. All you got to do is be nice. I say thank you and everything. Most groomers won't tell you thank you, but I told you thank you. I was raised with some manners. You better act like you have some. Even if you don't, act like you have it on my table. Some grumpy man. Yeah, you're so cute. Is that how you get away with stuff at home? Because you're cute? Well, cuteness only goes so far in a grooming salon. You're cute, but we ain't gonna be dangerous. We're not gonna cut you. Still trying to grow these in. So we're just going to neat them up. Now you can be cute at home. And the grooming salon, you're going to be safe. That means no biting, no growling, no snarling, no snapping. Those are my rules. And especially don't bite me, because I didn't bite you. Oh, aren't you a handsome, angry boy?
got a little sticky here. Let me get that. Ah, ah, back. Come here. Okay, so now I'm putting the finishing touches on Teddy, and we're going to take a quick flashback look at his before. This is what he looked like when he first came in, and this is his after. I think he looks absolutely adorable. Looks like a brand new grumpy old man. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this groom. Make sure you guys smash that like button, share this video, drop a comment down below, do all that fancy YouTube stuff. I love you guys. Train your dogs for grooming. Make sure you watch every video straight through. Watch those ads. Enjoy the videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Love you guys.